Uh, hi everybody, here's a new model I've been working on. But this isn't really about the model today, it's more about uh, some of the interface. Some people have been interested in what I've done with this. I'll try to break it down a little bit. Again, this is just another one of the tabs. I've got me a, a layout on here. These pieces right here is just a cust custom form I made for symmetry. If you look close, it tells you what it is. X-axis, Y, Z, and this is just the toggle for on and off, right? Over here, I got a couple extra windows if I need to uh, check for silhouettes, things like that. These two windows open don't really uh, bother the OpenGL performance too much until I get to about... Uh, once I hit about 9 million polygons, then I really don't want to keep these open. It just kind of it just drains my uh, GL performance. Not much, but a little bit. If I start doing high res uh, details, I'll shut these off, and it's easy to do. I just come over here, and I've got a pretty typical set, just whatever I want. Kind of nice, convenient preset browser here for me to kind of keep an eye on what's coming, what I've got. This here is a little preset browser also over here, but I've usually I've got this targeted to let's see if it crashes. Just my some preset sculpt brushes I use on a regular basis. These are just uh, some clay brushes. It's kind of a high contrast, medium and so, so, or slow contrast, soft contrast. This is a move brush and kind of a rake brush. This changes up a little bit. If you need to change it, you can change it. All right, whoops, go back down. Okay, I'll get back here, back here. Over here, just a save brush, nothing special, just a custom icon on there. This is the brush where you can see what's happening. I found that I, I tinker with this a lot. This little profile here can change it you're drastically once you start getting into higher res models and a lot of polygons. This little Thing right here can really have an effect on how your strokes affect those polygons. So I like to have this open and kind of large so I can see what's happening. And again, these are here. Whenever I got this going, I've got access to this. I found it works really good in the middle here. So when I'm jacking this back and forth, this screen over here doesn't interfere. Uh, let's see. I really only have a couple about what was it four or five six standard tools that I use on a regular basis I really don't need the other ones at least not right now if I need them I can add them I have room this can move around a little bit again uh, let's see smooth again this profile has a big effect on what happens right I've really tinkered with some of the uh, labeling so I can lower the profile. You would say, well, what is this? Well, as you get better at your sculpting and you're better at what's happening over here in your tool properties, you'll know what these mean. You really don't need all of those words after you get used to seeing what you're seeing. All right? A lot of this stuff has really been streamlined down so I can maximize my space. Right? I can almost get everything in there without having to scroll around. It's kind of nice, convenient. Right here is just a multi res toggle mode. It's basically this thing right here. I don't like that. Right? There's the toggle. Just toggles that. Right? This is the levels, which is like this thing right here. Is that? Uh, let's see again the symmetries over here. Now over here are some things that I've used on a regular basis that I don't want to have to go up into hotkeys or menus t to actually hit. Uh, this is obvious. It's the Go Z, right? Right here, save all images. If I'm starting to do any painting, I have this available. Right here, it's just a config save. If I, I do a lot of tinkering with this, so when I do something, I want to save it. I just click it. I don't, 
I don't like taking my fingers off my uh, basic navigation controls if I don't have to, so that's why that's here. GL, that's just a toggle for the GL meter. kind of helps me know when I need to kind of maybe close these down. This V right here is talking about the display viewport. All of this information here, once I'm uh, kind of moving around and getting into a groove of a sculpt, I don't want those there. It's just clutter. So I can toggle that off real quick. I don't have to go to the O button and then start doing things here, right? That's the same thing. That's all it's doing. I don't have to open that up and click two things. I just click one. Uh, this here is just the grid. Toggles the grid. Right? On and off. Nothing special. Work plane. Now, you can't see it too much there, but trust me, the work plane's there. I've got it grayed out because I don't need it to interfere too much. I know where it's at. Right? And this little button here with the lines, this is nothing but uh. It just scrolls through, right? We just scroll through the wireframes. If I want to turn them on, turn them off. And again, this stuff is there's still a lot of room here. I can uh, pull things in, pull things out. This isn't always necessary because you know you do have your pop-ups here if you need to do that, right? It's all there. But a lot of times when I'm sculpting with a uh, my tablet, it's easy to just go up there and hit one. Really easy to do that and not have to take my hands away too far from the uh, navigation buttons. Again, that's personal preference. Now, a lot of this stuff, for example, you find them in here, right? A quick little form editor tutorial. Once you've got this thing opened, you just click in there. You'll find them. It's not a hard thing to do once you start tinkering with it. There they are. They're all right there. That's it. All right? Whoops. Find form. Hmm. Now, this little sculpt form right here, I have I use this a lot. So what I've done, if you notice, I mean, I'll just it's easier to go here. You'll see I've got this thing set up in almost every... Well, I guess every tab now, right? Except, nope, I got it in every tab. I finally took care of that. Now, just in case you're looking, let me see if I crash it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here it comes. You see how big these are? Again, I've just changed that in the uh, form editor. A lot of times I'm going up, it's just easier to hit the bigger button than it is to hit the smaller button. A lot of it was just wasted space, I thought. If you need to put other things in there, it's great. If you like to keep it nice and small, go ahead. No big deal. Where is it? Uh, form editor. All right. Go in here. Find that. Uh, <laughs> Moto modes. This is mainly it. Right? Is that justified? Just make them smaller. Center, whatever you want. Depends on where you want it. <laughs> justified just stretches it from side to side. I like it this way, so there. Uh, anytime I do a lot of little bit of tinkering, I've got that button right there, the modal icon. Saves out the uh, changes I've made. Well, let me go back to that sculpt. Again, it's proven itself to be kind of nice. It's nice to have uh, the extra green space. You know, depending on what you're going to do, you know? Now, let me see. Right. Got some custom scrolls just so I can see it better on this gray background. Uh, three. Where's my horns? Mm, go here. Uh, which one is it? Oh, there we go. Alright. I'm still tinkering with a little bit of the colors, see what I like, what I don't like. 
I like to have things be able to show up really well against its kind of a middle middle gray. Uh, da -da -da. Right. Item mode. Some of it really comes out pretty nice when you're working against a gray sculpt. Well, anyway, that's kind of a tour of this interface. Right now, I'm a little bit reluctant to just start posting this up for common use because I've done so many other little things to this form editor. I mean, lots of little things in this form editor have been changed. You know, uh, back to the model. Just changing a lot of the stuff in here. Some people will not like that. I mean, so if I do make this available to the general public, it's a kind of a user beware. Make sure you save your normal config somewhere safe so you can go back to it because I've done a lot of things inside this interface that most people I think would find to be a little bit distracting or confusing. Anyway, all right, later till the next time. Bye.